first platform camp is in. Keep watching to find out how it was done. Good afternoon everyone and welcome back to Piccadilly. Now on for the second part of the canopy build, the station uh, platform canopies that is. So you can see the um, canopy there upside down on the carpet and I've got this uh, piece of rail just stuck to the end of the wires there that helps me get the wires through the baseboard. Now I'm going to start turning my attention now to the top of the state of the canopy so i'm going to cut a piece of card which is going to stick to the edges around there and then possibly even put wrap some paper around it as well to help give a nice smooth finish around the edge just there all right so as you can see there i've now put the rim around the top like so and the next stage now is to matte varnish that welcome back now that's all dry now, I've got the varnish on there, so what I'm going to do now is start painting it and weathering it at the same time. Now unfortunately like I showed you before, I can't, I can't show you Google Maps, um, but this is the only source that I've got for seeing the top. But looking at all the different versions of the picture, it's basically um, pale grey, uh, but with these dark bits in it. So I'm just going to sort of blend that across a little bit. So you've got these dark patches varying places across it. Sort of like that really. Yeah, I've put some white in it now and it, it seems an awful lot better. It's getting too dark. But it is quite a streaky blobby affair, if that makes sense. Right, done an amount of this darkening up the edge. And as you can see, I've also weathered the top. But I've still got this bit down here to do, so I'll show you what I do. I'm using this colour, which is a Revel colour. And I'm just taking the brush and just daubing it along the edge. Nothing too fancy, and then water and brush in the water, even and just streak it across. And you want to try and go for an up and down type movement. I'm just washing the brush out again, get some of the water out, and then the brush will suck up. I'm trying to avoid getting stuff down on the lower section, I mean, under there, I mean, because. It's um, obviously going to look a lot cleaner underneath there. I mean, a bit is inevitable, but I don't want to get a lot down there. There we are. Last thing I did was just did a very delicate dark line um, going up the middle, reasonably straight, um, to indicate the drain that would be running through the centre of that. All right, so next thing I'm going to do is show you how I go about making the girders. Right, so the time has come now. I'm going to show you how I'm making these girders. I've thought about this long and hard over the last few weeks, um, what I could use. And one thing has come to mind time and time again, and that's a cotton-like material. Now, this isn't standard cotton. This is thicker than that. Um, so I went to my local sewing shop, and they've got loads of different sorts, but this is the one I've gone for. All right, so obviously you can see 100% polyester. So I'm quite happy with that. And it's it's probably around about half a millimetre wide, which would mean that it's around, it would give the girder around about three inches wide in reality. So actually that's probably about right, to be honest with you. Now, like I said, it is a tedious process. Now, I'm measuring each of the triangles at a centimetre wide. So I'm marking on the down position and the up position of each one. So that's down on that one. So lining that back up again. So I've got the down position on that bit. 
just there. Oh, pen's not working properly. And then the up position, just there. Down position, up position, down, up. Hopefully you can see that there. It's a bit of a mess actually, but down, up, down, up, down, up, and down. All right. Now the next stage is to tie uh, the cotton on as you would do if you were sewing. So I'm just gonna tie a double knot. So I'm just gonna put that at the start of the first mark, which is just there and pull tight like that. And then I think what I'm gonna do now is put a little dob of glue on that to hold it. Again, I'm just using my Cosmic Shimmer, but any suitable glue would do the job. Okay, now I'm in I'm in this down position now. So what I'm going to do now is wrap the cotton round. I hold it at an angle like that, and then that automatically comes and makes to the next point. And I'm just going to keep wrapping round like so, trying to keep it as tight as I can, and probably go around about half a dozen or so times like that all the way down keep going keep going keep going the next stage i've gone around and put glue on every single peak and now i'm running another piece of cotton along the edge just fixing that on because it will save time later the first one i did i did each step separately and you know, as when you do things more than once, you start to see the shortcuts. So, it's, but anyway, hopefully you can get an idea of what that's going to look like. Now, what I'm going to do now is just go along with the back of the scalpel and just tap down each of the, the different sections just to make sure there's no gap between that and the edge of the acetate because that will look a little bit odd. If you notice, I've had to put this over the top of each of the um, pieces coming out. So I've had to go in and mark on where each of the triangles come over the posts. And then with the scalpel, um, cut out those, those triangles. Now I did that before I put the bottom piece of cotton on um, for obvious reasons. Because um, obviously then it's simple to put the cotton on in one go. As, a try, as opposed to try and cut it out behind the cotton and then run the risk of, of cutting it and have to do it again. Welcome back. Now, this is a few days later than the last clip. Um, things just got quite busy and I just didn't have any time whatsoever to do this. But you can see now all the girders on all four sides are done. And you might also notice at the points where the the struts come out, you've got these little parts here. Now, how did I do those? Well, if you remember when I did the uh, the actual girders themselves, I had a strip of plastic, obviously a lot smaller than this, and I marked on the different points. Um, so it's five millimeters. So five millimeters from there, and then another five from there and so on. So that would be one centimeter, if that makes any sense. And I mark them on all along like that. Well, I did exactly the same to make these. And one of those in there would be that triangle. So all I did then was score down the middle. And then with a pencil very heavily, I marked a very small slot, trying to get them both pretty much the same. Not worrying too much if it's not completely identical, but and I pressed so that it looks actually if there's a bit of an indentation so there could actually be a hole through there which there would be on the real thing but you'll also notice these little things on the top here which is the glazing supports um, one millimeter uh, square plastic card or plastic strip and with a knife I literally just went snip, 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 until I had about five million of these things. 
that's what it felt like anyway. So I glued them all on um, with standard PVA. And then once they'd all gone off, just went over them with a little bit of black paint and just painted them all black. Right, hopefully you can see there. Now we've got, obviously this is the canopy, the girders front and back. But if you'll notice each of these little supports. Now, next thing I want to look at, the glazing. If you notice, it's not clear. How do I know that? Because there's a girder there. Oops, let me turn the camera. There we go. There's a girder or one of the um, electrification girders and I can't see through it. It's completely obliterated. So that would tell me, obviously, it's clouded out. So I've got to replicate that in some way. Right, so as you've just seen, I've got to try and replicate that glazing in, in some way or another. So the way I'm gonna do this, I've cut some acetate to 15 mil wide, hopefully you can see that. So it's just overhanging the front edge and also into the roof section here. And I've got some 500 grit um, wet and dry paper, all right? Um, which I bought, um, you can get this pretty much anywhere really. I got this from a decorator shop, I think. But equally, I think I'm up, you can get it from eBay and lots of different places, car shops, all sorts of places like that. Best used with water. So I've got a pot of clean water here, even though it's in a dirty pot. And all I'm going to do is rough it up. Now I'm going to do it along the length of the, the plastic, first of all, all along the length. And if you can see, it's, I don't know if you can see that, but it's, it's got this like creaming effect going on there. You know something's happening when you get that because that's the dust mixing with the water. I'm then gonna go across like that. And the reason I'm doing that is because any weathering on these canopies would fall sideways so it would go if you're looking at the canopy it would go inward and into the drain running along the middle of the roof so any any weathering effects would go across the plastic not across the roof I mean so hopefully you can see that's that's roughed up now so if you if I put that in front of the canopy you can't see any detail it's obliterated right so they're done now one of the thing I did forget was there are some um, divisions between each of the sections if I point you back here go back to this picture oops, that one even you can see there you've got all these divisions now to do that bringing you back down again I'm going to place the acetate onto the canopy and mark on where they come. Now, you might say to me, why don't you just measure it with the ruler? Because with the greatest will in the world, inaccuracies do occur. And so I wanna make sure that when I put this on, I'm gonna get them in the right place. So I'm gonna put a little line just on each of these places and get the pen to work, of course. going to score each of these lines down now you might say why are you doing that well because every single one of those panels are separate pieces of glass and I want to replicate that so actually I'm using the scalpel the right way around but more the point right so that's been about an hour and all the uh, glue joints are pretty much dry. So my first thing I'm going to do is to give it a coat of some null oil. So I'm literally just going to go over the top, hoping that the idea that it will sink into the gaps. Right, I mean, 
it's not quite dry as you can see there's some dark patches there but I'm just going to use some of this I'm probably just about make that out and you can see it's not quite mixed up properly you may be able to make that out not really but anyway I'm just going to use some of that as it is and just daub that on and water it down I don't want it to be all in all encompassing if that makes any sense I don't want it to be over every single little bit but just here and there just to give the impression that there's an element of dirt over the whole canopy so it's just a case of just daubing it on really and wiping bits of it off all right welcome back now it's all dry now and the whole canopy is like this all the way up now there's, there's a window here so it does tend to bleach out a little bit the further up you go but next stage is to take some green i'm just using that one and i'm going to put the tiniest amount on the brush like so and brush that out so it's dry brush and now case of just applying actually i will put a little bit more on that the tiniest tiniest little bit in varying places not all over so i don't want the whole thing to become too grimy but it's literally just a case of every now and again just put a little bit it represents the moss and algae that grows so all right there are places where the windows do look reasonably clean there we go it does here it does look an awful lot more dramatic and contrasty than it actually is you can't, you can't really see up there it's all bleached out but i've also put a tiny little bit just on the inside here where the water would drip down onto the roof so anyway i'm going to finish this now um so the next time you see it will be when it's actually on the layout i'll catch you in a minute So there it is in position. Just pan you down. So hopefully you can see the girder work going along the side there, with all the algae growth on the top. Now I still need to sort out this area around here. You can see the pillar's still there. So that corner is still a bit of a mess. bring it in can you get a flavor of what that's looking like now so like I said that that piece in the girder holding up the canopy there is a bit on the tilt because it's not glued and the pillar's missing so if I pop you down there just give you a bit of a pan okay well, I hope you like that. And um, over this next week, I am going to be working on that corner, as I've just suggested, and get that all put back. Um, there's the pillar to go in, and there is a, well, I say a wall, but it's more of a skin, really, over that end, over that end of the canopy there. Uh, it sort of blocks it in a little bit. And uh, I'll show you some pictures of that next week. All right, anyway, take care, everybody. I'll see you again soon. Have a good week. Bye for now.